Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic, and our Tauren Warrior playthrough. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, I really do appreciate you clicking on the video and choosing to be here. And I hope you are all doing well. We're in Feralus today, we're going after the Vidir Elixir. Uh, if we want to take a look at this a little bit more closely... Seek out Gregan Bruce Brewer in Northern Fairless. From him, learn how you may acquire the Vidir Elixir. And then return to Winterspring. Okay, so we're gonna go talk to this guy and then we're just gonna hearth right back. This all, this all ties back into uh, Lincoln, who uh, was the gnome we met in Ungoro Crater, who was dressed up just like Link from Legend of Zelda. And I really don't care about, like, the story that's involved in it, <laughs> honestly. I, when, when Blizzard chooses to, like, take something and kind of do a little skit with it or a bit with it or whatever, like their Rambo storylines and now this, I, I don't really find those incredibly interesting. They can be clever and you can enjoy them, but I don't really need to get into the nitty-gritty of all the text uh, in the quest dialogue. Not interesting to me. Uh, okay. Grumble, grumble. I hope you're not the guy we need to talk to. Uh... Okay. Yes? <laughs> okay. Was that a jumping puzzle? Was this just a jumping puzzle in World of Warcraft? Did I just have to do a jumping puzzle to get in here? I'm kind of blown away. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of shocked. Uh... Okay. Huh. I might be blind, but I don't see anybody named Gregan Bruce Spewer here. We'll uh we'll click on the rest of these, I guess. We we're getting Ever Evo Evo Root. Um there's a dragon underneath the thing. Unique. You can't carry any more of these. Okay. Hold on a second. <laughs> He's hard to track down, but last I knew, he was camping in the wilds of Feralus. Okay. Oh, maybe he's here. <laughs> Maybe that's where he is. Let's let's go check that out. I think I have a vague memory of interacting with this dwarf. I'm pretty sure it's a dwarf uh, once before. The name alone should be enough to let us know that it's a dwarf, right? Brew Spewer. The lighting here in this part of Feralus is really interesting. It's uh, quite different than the lighting in the rest of the zone. And I've probably talked about this before. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I have a strong sense of deja vu. So this guy is going to be over here, perhaps on this hill we can see. How are we to climb the hill? Let's go around the back. Oh, there he is. Okay, can you tell me how I can get a, a Vadir Elixir? Sure, you look like you can be trusted, trustworthy. I can spot that a mile away. Takes one ever root, Evo root, <laughs> to make the Vidir elixir. The rest of the ingredients are trivial, really, but the Evo root, well, that can be a bit touchy to get. Yeah, it involves a jumping puzzle. Be good. 
Okay. What's on your mind? So we'll give him the Evo root. So you pull the fast one on old Miblin. Safe travel. I guess. Okay, good. What can I do for you? I think we're good Just here. On the ground. Yeah, it says quest complete. Okay, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and hearth back. I did turn in the quest, the kill quest that we had uh, back at Camp Mojave. I got that turned in as well, so. Let's minimize on Girl Crater. Picked up a Dire Maul quest that I don't think we're going to do. Okay, um... Oh, it goes all the way back to her. I think we have a few other quests for her. She wants us to investigate this area down here to the south. So... Maybe we uh, run down there and do that before we get into the big kill quest over here to the east. Uh, that being said... I'm going to grab the ribbon buff before we do anything, as well as uh, maybe maybe we'll take care of uh, some things that I should have already taken care of here, like vendoring. Are any of you guys vendors out here? No? Okay, cool. What about in here? Yes. Get a repair. I did sell a bunch of stuff on my bank alt the other day. I really need to make a better habit of checking in every day and uh, emptying my mailbox and stuff like that. I think we have like 200 gold now on the bank alt just from stuff that I've sold, materials that I've sent myself and sold. I have no idea how much uh, outland flying costs. I have no idea how much cold weather fly. Oh well, we can't really think about cold weather flying yet. We're going to be getting so much gold by questing in Northrend. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to these. I don't think I'm gonna end up using them or really farming any rep or anything like that. Jeez, my bags are just, uh, kind of full of stuff that we can't really get rid of. That's, uh, <laughs> starting to become a problem. Okay, yeah, I guess that's, that's really all we can do, huh? Still no beta invite today. Beta invites started going out on the 22nd, so I'm kind of thinking that maybe they'll drop a mo bunch more invites every week. And the further and further we get, the closer we get to launch, probably the more beta invites are going to go out. Oh, I'm not spinning. I'm looking at my second monitor. <laughs> and I'm not spinning. Why am I not spinning? Started spinning. There we go. Yeah, so I'll keep checking every day. I don't think I would do a lot in beta, because I think we're going to be doing it all again for real, like, pretty soon. Relatively soon. Well, I guess what I would do in beta is maybe something a lot of people don't do, is that uh, I would probably actually raid test... I would do some raid testing. If they allowed you to create uh, pre-mades to do raid testing and dungeon testing, I would definitely do that. Uh, and I think I, w I could do that fairly well. Um, Wrath was probably the expansion where I raided the most. So, I don't know how like valid 10-year-old memories are, but I feel like it would be a space that I would be comfortable in actually doing some testing and giving some feedback. Especially for things like they said they're going to make Nax a little bit harder. Because when it came out in Wrath of the Lich King, I guess it was basically a joke. So yeah, I, I like to see I like to see how they tune that to make it a little bit harder. Because as a lot of people have pointed out, like adding 
damage and adding health to a boss doesn't necessarily make it harder or more engaging. It just makes the fight take a little longer. So, yeah. <laughs> really what you have to do is you have to add interesting mechanics uh, to make a fight more challenging. You need to have like unique, interesting mechanics that are thematic and well telegraphed. You know, you have to do these other things. You can't just say, well, we're going to give it 100,000 more health and it's going to hit a third as hard. Uh, because that'll make the fight take longer. It might take, it might make gearing up for the fight take longer, but ultimately it's not going to make the fight better. Or even necessarily just more challenging. It's just going to maybe be more tedious. But we'll see. We'll see what they do. I guess, I guess if a boss hits harder, it makes it harder on healers. <laughs> so, that's about it. As a DPS, your job is the same, whether regardless of how hard the boss hits, your job is to like not get hit by mechanics and keep doing DPS. So, I mean, like you're still going to be trying to do the same exact thing. So, if you, if you don't add mechanics, like nothing changes except for how punishing failure is. Uh, and that's one way to increase difficulty, but it's not a very interesting way. Adding, adding and changing mechanics would probably be a better solution. Uldor had hard modes that you would initiate within the fight, so it wasn't a setting. You would go into the fight as normal, and then there was a thing you could do or not do in each fight that would make the fight a lot more challenging. And I think something like that would be really cool. I like having the hard modes embedded in the fight. I don't I don't really care for like just the mythic setting, like oh well, we're doing it on mythic. It's just gonna be fundamentally different mechanic. I like having to like initiate because sometimes that was a fail point. Sometimes you could fail to initiate the hard mode. Uh, that was part of what you had to do to do the fight on hard mode. Uh, then maybe they add something like that into Nax. Or like maybe you can maintain the original version, but uh oh we're not doing that one. But you can have these optional hard modes for people to progress uh, that give better rewards. I guess we're really just looking for uh, discovering the gorge. I can't fight those guys. It, it almost seems to indicate that maybe I can pick some stuff up on the ground, though. But I don't think I want to go down there. That looks uh, scary AF. And I don't see like an easy way out once I'm in. So I don't think I'm doing that one right now. I think I just want to come down here and get the exploration ping. Because, yeah, this is really cool though. Like some kind of night elf ruin that's been encrusted over by ice and snow down in this ravine. Very cool. I always forget that Winter Spring, you know, being in Kalimdor, like everything else in Kalimdor, has these amazing night elf ruins. It's something you don't get to see a lot of, depending on how you go on the Alliance. Like, you can uh, stay in the Eastern Kingdoms for the most part, and then you don't get to see a lot of the Night Elf stuff. Can I get this? Can I <laughs> Can I get it? Is he going to let me do this? And if so, can I find three more like this? Can I find three more just like that? Oh, I guess the... The requirement is also the- oh shit, we are totally dead. <laughs> Let's uh, see if we can leash him this way. Oh, we are- we are dead. Can we slow him a little bit, maybe? I- I don't know what we can do. We can run and pray. Um, yeah, maybe we can't do this. I thought maybe we could find, like, you know, just three more. Oh, look, there's one over here. Okay, we might be able to do this. We just have to be, like... Really, really careful with the big guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, we can do this. Is he gonna stop chasing us is the question. Oh, he has. He has stopped chasing us. Alright, let's take the bear out. He's level 59, but he's gonna be easier to deal with than the elite. If we can hit him. I mean, hell, we might not be able to hit this guy. I guess 59 is quite high, uh, even for our gear level, because yeah, if we can't hit it, we can't kill it, etc. I kind of made the mistake of using a potion, so I'm gonna f Oh, he resisted my fear. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Uh, this might be an easy death here. Yeah, I don't really have any other tricks. Sure. 
Can't do that in combat. Uh, yeah. Shit, well. I can try to outrun him. I guess I don't have to sit and wait to die. So we can't fight anything here. This is this has been all all of this has been ill-conceived by me. Not only can we not fight the elites, we we can't fight the regular guys either. I need to uh get the hell out of here. Yeah, uh, I've made a huge error. It would have been cool. Oh yeah, this guy's going to smash us. <laughs> Please don't hit me. It would have been cool to be able to complete a level 60 quest. I bet it would have been worth a lot of experience. It's also a group quest, so yeah, it probably would have been worth like 13,000. But that's not going to happen, guys. Let's let's get this ping that's done, and we'll ignore this stuff. If we were level like 57, then we could probably at least fight the bears, right? That would be possible. Might have been able to take the bear if I had started at full health, but I feel like it still would have been really close. We just uh, weren't really able to hit him. And he's a bear, so he's going to have a lot of that like innate tankiness anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to come over here and work on probably Winterfall activity and maybe these Yetis first if we can, uh, if there are a bunch of Yetis here like it seems to indicate, maybe we'll do the Yetis first and we'll hit level 57 doing the Yetis. That will make uh, this a yellow quest instead of an orange quest and we can go from there. Then we'll have to circle back for the Owl Beast. We need to find uh, 15 Raging Owl Beasts. We need to find Ursius, who can spawn anywhere to the north of Everlook. So yeah, we've got lots of stuff to do. Will it get us to level 58? No, I, I don't think it will. But that's okay, we have other places we can go. We will find the quest we need somewhere at this point. We could even do some stuff in Silithus once we are level 57. Uh, there are a couple of quests down there that we might be able to take on. I think I want to go up here if I'm looking for Yeti. I think I need to get to kind of like a higher elevation. I'd rather not fight these Chimera. Unless they insist. They really have done their best to like litter the landscape with enemies so that you really like can't travel without aggroing a bunch. It's a good way to stack playtime onto the very what was at one point the end of the game. <laughs> Alright, here we go. What level are these guys? Ooh, 58. Yeah, 56 on some of them. Let's uh let's get into it and just see how it goes. I'm gonna go with the two-handed axe here for a bit, and then I'm gonna switch over to the one-hander and shield, and just kind of see, like, if we're really killing them any faster with the two-hander, because we're gonna have some healing downtime with the two-hander that I don't think we're gonna have with the shield. This guy's giving out lots of thick leather, though. That's gonna be nice to sell that. I think we were selling it for like 10 or 12 gold a stack. So it's the Patriarchs that are level 58. I'm going to try to avoid the Patriarchs. I feel like that would be okay.
Well, we finally got an item. Ah, uh, that's not the right shield. Some of these items have been so iconic uh, in my mind, and we've had them for such a long time that it's gonna—it's kind of hard for me to like vendor them. That's why I'm still holding onto that shield. It sounds stupid, but when you use an item for a very long time, you kind of do develop a little bit of an attachment to that item. Except that there aren't, like, many games where you use the same items for a long time anymore, and the only reason that we use these items for such a long time is because the epics in Classic are, like, very, very overpowered. So, yeah, we're not gonna be replacing any of this stuff till we get probably, like, some blues from TBC. We might replace it with greens. I remember the saying, green is the new purple, uh, when TBC first came out. I think there was a t-shirt. And, uh, that was definitely true, for the most part. Yeah, this guy took a lot to take down. Definitely, uh, probably not worth it. He doesn't even have a 100% drop rate on the, uh, skin, so... Oh, we can get the skin from Leatherworking, that's amazing. It's amazing. Basically, always be a Leatherworker. Herbalism? I don't know, I should have kept my Herbalism up, but I just... I just didn't do it. I'm strongly considering, like, going back and leveling it prior to Wrath, though, because uh, I will want to collect and sell stuff to kind of keep our money up. I don't know if there's going to be stuff that I'm going to want to purchase uh, in Wrath or not off the auction house, so I, I do want to have the money to at least get cold weather flying and be able to uh, get some pieces of crafted gear if we need or anything like that. Okay. There we go. That's rude, he died before I could use my overpower. What a jerk. So, ice Blast, they have an actual Ice Blast ability that freezes us in place. Getting rugged leather from these guys. Alright, so some of them drop thick leather, some of them drop rugged leather. It's a decent place to farm. If one was so inclined. Oh, that Ice Blast also triggers second wind, so that's awesome. Yes, please do more of that. After Ungurl Crater, like, if you're a warrior, and you're, like, in Tanneris and going into Ungurl Crater, like, you need to be specced into second wind. It's gonna help you so much. Like, just the passive health you get back, when otherwise, when you're frozen like that, that's just an enemy beating the shit out of you. While you're not damaging it. But if you have second wind, you just are kind of, like, sitting back, chilling. Getting some health back. So yeah, uh, definitely a big recommend. It takes an event that would be really no annoying, like being stunned or incapacitated, into something that you are kind of happy that happened. Which is, is huge for mental health. <laughs> We're it's probably like minimal compared to like the damage they're putting out, the damage you're healing, you're probably getting a little bit of health back overall, but... Uh, for mental health, it's good. <laughs> less reasons to get annoyed, less points of friction with the game. It means a more relaxing experience. I could be smart and I, sh I can get some potions going today. That'd be really, really smart. I need to put them like out of my bar, but my bars are getting honestly pretty cluttered. I could turn on like the sidebar and move some of my potions and stuff over there, but man, I haven't played with the sidebar at all in classic, so it might be too much like UI clutter for me. 
I don't know, but I, I might have to try it soon. Uh, let's go Major Defense and Major Strength. I feel like that's good. Okay, cool. A little parting gift from him to us. Eight seconds of, of uh, second wind. Uh, we need one more. Between skinning and just the loot they drop, this has had a really good drop rate. Thank you, skinning. We've been able to use skinning for a few different quests. Ultimately, incredibly helpful. And there we go, that one's done. Okay, how about getting into this uh, furbolg area? How can we do that? I guess we kind of just have to go around, huh? Yep. Oh, there were, there were guys up there. <laughs> Don't think we're getting back up there now, but it looks like there were guys up there. There are also Yeti kind of lurking down here a little bit don't really need to mess with anymore. Are these guys all going to be like up top here? I kind of imagine that there was like a village of some kind, but maybe that's not accurate. Um, please let me up here. <laughs> oh, there is a village somewhere. I mean, this is not this is not what makes a village. Maybe it's below us. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a compound down here. Let's, uh, let's maybe fight the guys up here. Okay, uh, we can do some cleave. We could do a lot of missing, that's uh, also something we could do. Well, this guy's level 58, so yeah, the missing kind of makes sense at this point. I could try to do a fear bandage. We could hold on to our potion until maybe we actually need it. So this could be rough. Okay. 
We're really missing out on like the satisfaction of skinning them after we've defeated them. Ah. Uh, Part of me doesn't really want to fight the level 58 guys, but part of me is kind of realizing that there might be only level 58 guys. We need to start learning a uh, rune, rune weave bandage. Where do we learn a rune weave bandage from? Huh, I don't know. We need to make some more uh, mage weave. Oh, we don't even have heavy mage weave. Yeah, we have uh, we have some first aid that we need to learn, like pronto. I have a bunch of mage weave cloth stored in my bank alt's bank. So, like, if we need more to level it up, we can. Because yeah, we're not getting any skill ups right now, which is really bad. Uh, and I'm gonna have to look that up today to figure out where I need to go to get the rune weave book and expand our tailoring a bit. Can we go down into this village and get what we're looking for? It looks like there are marks on the map down there. Maybe, maybe the stuff in the village will be a little bit lower level, I don't know. Let's go find out, shall we? Yeah, level 57. I'll take it. We're about to be level 57 ourselves, and then the gap won't be so great, and we'll probably hit a little bit more. And they'll they'll parry a little less, and stuff like that will happen, so... If you were undergeared, I would not recommend trying to do this. Oh, a shaman just respawned. How lucky. You're not a totemic. We need totemics as well. We need to hold uh, shield bash, I think, and see if these guys are going to heal. Or if they're just going to spam Lightning Bolt at us. Which is pretty effective in reality. That guy didn't try to heal. That's not conclusive. We'll have to take another test sample, so to speak. There's always someone here when I'm trying to do this. At the SOM Warrior, we had huge problems trying to get kills here. Because the place was farmed out. Oh, good. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> I do appreciate it. I'm probably not going to talk much to you, but I appreciate the invite. Let's just silently help one another like we did in the days of old. We could even split up while doing it. We don't even have to be near each other. You know what I mean? Buddy? No? Okay. Hey, we got the same shoulders though. That's cool. Uh, what's not cool is like the lack of guys up here. Here we go. This guy's been here for a while, so I do appreciate the invite.
Uh, no one's back up over here yet. We can go down below and uh, maybe see what spawns down here. I don't know if that's going to have any results. The available pings on the map are not very many. Oh god, I wish we could skin these guys. It's such a waste. Yeah, there's nothing going on down here. I feel like the best way to do this is going to be to mount up and run around. Uh, what's, what's going on here? Oh, oh, look at this. Who are you? This guy needs to be involved. Oh, this guy was in the group for a minute and then dropped. No, this guy needs to be in the group. This guy, for his benefit and our benefit, he needs to be in the group. Like, I don't understand why he's not in the group. <sighs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. He's just, you know, taking pulls from us and he's not getting credit for anything we're doing. And it's all just kind of really inefficient and wasteful. Just like this entire quest, basically. Inefficient and wasteful. Kind of was hoping we'd have this little area to ourselves, but... That was too much to hope for. Who, who's all leveling here? Let's see. Not very many people. 11 people within the level range. And while we were both in here, no doubt uh, other things have been spawning down here that the Paladin has been tagging. That's why for stuff like this, especially when like you're kind of competing against other groups for drops and stuff, you, you really do want to split up a bit. Unless you're, you're in a spot where you can do like enormous pulls, then stick together, you know. Yeah, some of my favorite times leveling in WoW is just leveling with a friend of mine, just being able to do like enormous pulls on like, we'd do two hybrid classes, like Shaman Druid combos, Druid Paladin combos, and just pull entire groups. It's a lot of fun. I feel like I only have like a lot of fun like that when I'm like, I'm really familiar with the person that I'm playing with though. It's like, I, I, I probably wouldn't feel comfortable doing that kind of stuff with just like anybody. <laughs> Because we'd pull really, really massive groups together, and then, like, you know, we've been friends for a long time, so... No bad feelings if somebody makes a stupid choice and wipes us, but... I don't feel as comfortable just doing that with people that I pick up and start playing with in the game. Basically, for me to let my stupidity screw you over, like, we have to be good friends. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not gonna put myself in a position where, like, my stupidity can, like, just screw somebody else over intentionally. These days, I don't have any close friends, really. It's kind of what happens when, like, you just get older. Moving across the country for six years and then moving back to Michigan probably didn't help uh, <laughs> that at all. But yeah, it's interesting. I, I read something that said something to the effect of, like, an, an adult's average number of friends in, like, the 1970s was, like, four. A like, average, like, good friends as an adult. And then, like, compared to, like, today, the average number of close friends is, like, two. For your typical adult, uh, you know, age, pro probably age, like, 20 to 40, something like that. 
You'd think with all of our like connectivity and connectedness, we'd we'd be able to claim that we have more close friends, but in fact, the opposite is true. There did seem to be some guys on the outside of here, so I'm gonna... Yeah, we, we've got everything we need from that, though. What do we need? We need Shaman. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. Anywhere else we can get Shaman. These Totemics, man, we can check this area out again, but if that's legitimately the only place we can find Totemics, we're gonna have a hard time completing that one. We saw one Totemic in the entire set of two different camps that it said they could they could spawn in. It says they could spawn here, and it says they could spawn here, and we found one yesterday. So, that's gonna be a challenge. This is seemingly a challenge as well, uh, getting these Shaman to spawn. Okay, now we're now we're talking. Yeah, we're we're that's better. It's the benefits of staying in this group, I guess. I'm gonna keep killing everything because you know they're sharing spawn points, so. If there's one up that we that is not a shaman, it needs to die so that a shaman can maybe spawn in its place. That's kind of how I feel right now. And I and I don't know what uh, Gronkar needs because he, he's not using Questy, so he might need these guys. I also don't know where he is. Oh, he's not in the same area. That's, that's weird. I could probably discern more by reading party chat, but uh, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's like a mystery box. There's something in that box and I don't really want to find out what it is right now. I'm feeling particularly antisocial today. I've already been to the gym today. That like takes my social energy for the entire day. Just just existing in a space with a bunch of other people doing a similar activity has <laughs> has used up my social energies for the time being. Oh, we hit 50, 56 at some point, and uh, I guess I didn't notice. Maybe it just happened. Yeah, I think it just happened, yeah. I always miss it. So that's why they made it more ostentious in, in like retail. It's a big pop. Like They try to make it so you can't miss it. We finally get our last point back into Improved Mortal Strike. We've missed you, old friend. So that's good. Uh, level 56, we have skills to train as well. So I, I don't even know if I trained my level... Uh, 54 skills or not to be quite honest with you I want to say yes we definitely did but I, I can't I can't six two more to go it's getting close I did see a chest okay One of you guys saw it too, and you probably thought I was gonna miss it, didn't you? Like every other chest we've ever missed. I showed you. Person. Okay, uh, let's peek over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Really nice. Oh, it's so good. Let's take both of them. Make them both bleed. Uh,. Yeah, this would have been better to like, maybe like... <laughs> Let's do one of these. Just stop casting for a minute. <laughs> oh no, he's got a heal! Oh, he's got a big heal! Okay, it could have been worse. We have Mortal Strike on him, otherwise that probably would have really sucked. Where did that guy go? Oh, he's, oh, he's over there. Okay, okay, we're gonna be fine. Let's pop a potion, nobody panic. Let's get Mortal Strike on this guy for when he heals himself. We're gonna save Shield Dash. This guy had no interest in healing. So, that's fine. Okay, that's all done. I want to go back and probably turn turn in what we have and see if it changes.
Uh, or, or we could just go north of town and uh, do this stuff. Maybe, maybe we just want to do that. Let's go look for Ursius, and uh, then we'll make our way over and fight some Yeti. Yeah, two of our quests turn in back, all the way back to her. So one of them turns in up here. Not really anything is really turning in back in town right now. So. So, I, I guess Ursius is just a, a random spawned bear that can spawn in any of these bear slots that are currently spawned. It's a little bit uh, daunting. This is kind of one of those things like, I don't know if we're ever going to find this guy. Kind of thing. Like, if he doesn't have like a path or a specific spawn point, then it's probably going to be pretty impossible. Uh, crazed Owl Beast, we don't need it all. Berserk Owl Beast, we don't need it all. See a lot of Owl Beast varieties out here. Oh wait, there is a little path. Yeah, there is a path. Okay, I see it now. I actually see it with my eyes. Uh, I think we're at like the very top of it right now. Maybe we just try to follow this and uh, give it a give it a try and see if we can see him. It's not him over there. Here's some raging owl beast. We're going to take out this guy. don't think he's around. I don't know, maybe, maybe I should look into that quest a little bit more to see uh, exactly if there's any specifics I need to do or any like a specific spawn point he starts at. Maybe I just need to do a little bit of research. We will see. Uh, maybe. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't really have time right now. Uh, I would have. I would have done it, but, uh. Oh shoot, where'd it go? Yeah, if I'd, uh, if I'd have done that maybe like an hour ago, I could have done that. I have no idea how long it is though. Maybe we'll give it a go. That's my one caveat, is like, I don't know the route. I put myself in there kind of just um, speculatively, like maybe I would do it. But uh, yeah, we can uh, we can definitely give it a shot. I wonder if they're going to get a summon right out. That's going to be... Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't reading any party chat. That's what I get for being antisocial, right? I'll leave all this embarrassing stuff for you guys to see, like, how I have to interact with people because of my, like... Because of my desire to avoid interacting with people, like, the situations that I get myself into. <laughs> uh, I have the flight point if no one else can get there. However, that being said, being in a late edition and maybe needing to wrap some things up really quick, I kinda don't wanna have to fly down. I could put myself on a flight. I guess that would take some time. Uh, who's got it? I have the flight point.
I just don't know where everyone's at. Like, seems like seems like I might be like their best bet, so I'll I'll do that. Uh, yeah, let's go back to town and turn everything in. I I might make this a shorter episode than usual, guys, because I, maybe I I think I am gonna do this run. So I kind of told myself I wasn't gonna do any more dungeons, but I I would kind of like to see Dire Mall. I've done Dire Mall after it was added to looking for groups, so like, we're at the Lich King, I've done the Dire Mall wings, but I've never done them in DC or uh, Classics, so... That being said, uh, we do still have to get down and back to town. So I will uh, probably fight a couple more Owl Beasts here on the way. I do need to remember when I put myself in looking for group that maybe that's a time when I should be more receptive to reading my party chat and reading my, my chat tab. I, I do get pretty antisocial uh, when, I, when I play this game. It's kind of like a place that I kind of escape to, you know? Alright, somebody just dings so they're gonna see the trainer and then fly, so I don't think we're like in a huge hurry, which kind of suits me fine. I do have some things I need to wrap up really quick before I do anything else today in this game. Some real life stuff, uh, you know, it's like food firstly, eating some food would be good. Get some lunch in me. Let's uh, navigate ourselves back to town. I think we kind of are going to be forced to go out to the road to do that. We have kind of like some hills in the way. A lot of uh, mountainous terrain in this zone. I, I kind of like it. I am also going to uh, re-up the... I have to remind myself of this by saying it out loud. I have to re-up the ribbon dance buff once I land down in uh, Feralus, which means once I jump a flight, even if uh, they get people there before that and they try to summon me, like I can't take the summon. <laughs> I can't, I've got to get the buff, otherwise it's going to literally drive me insane. Oh crap, oh, I knew it! <laughs> I fucking knew it, I knew that was going to happen as soon as I ran between those two guys. Ah, uh, okay, I'd like to drop them and get this, uh, hey this Owlbeast just might join the fun. Here we go, let's do this. You come here. Oh, good. Yeah, I actually, that is good. Yeah, you keep hitting us and getting hit by retaliation. We'll heal a little bit. We'll do some cleave here. I know you guys want to see that cleave. Here it comes. I hope you're ready for it. We got, we got one in. Oh, there's two. Let's heal with our trinket. Turn some health bars on so I know what's what here. You can bleed. You can bleed. We can cleave. Well, that was actually quite fun. I'm glad we did that. Okay, but now, now let's get back to town. <laughs> I would fight you. It's fine. We'll, we'll be back here. We've still got quite a bit to do. Getting a half a level in a dungeon could be, like, really, really great for us. So, kind of, I have to do this. Because, yeah, it would be good if we can get, like, a little ways into 56. We can ding 57 here. And then we only have to worry about one level somewhere else. That would be ideal. So, cross our fingers. 
I think we have one quest in town to turn in, so let's do that. Looks like there's going to be another Yeti quest follow-up to that. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end this one here. And I'm going to put myself in flight for this dungeon. Thank you all so much for being here. I really, really do appreciate all of the continued support on this series. We've been at it for a long time, so it does mean the world to me that you guys are still here and still enjoying yourselves. If you were not here, there would be a lot less of me here. So I, I really do appreciate it. Everybody take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And uh, yeah, we'll see you back here again really soon. Bye now. Cool.